If you've been waiting your whole life for the ultimate asteroid mining simulator, then you're in luck. Delta V Rings of Saturn is here, and it's a game that understands the importance of science in science fiction. The physics-based mining sim drops you in a world where every action has a reaction. Precision spaceflight means a mistimed thruster burst could lead to major ship damage or your hold barfing up all your precious minerals. Will you unravel the mystery of the rings or just spend your time getting rich? Because while money can't buy you everything, it can buy a ton of cool things like fission reactors, experienced crew members, or pogs. Delta V Rings of Saturn may or may not contain 90s era schoolyard games. Please consult a doctor if you remember pogs, as you are old now. Delta V Rings of Saturn is available now, so head on over to its Steam page today. Pugs, pugs, pugs. Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, back to Second Wind. Marty is here. Jesse is also here. I was chanting pogs because the ad uh, ended with a pog goof. Uh, oh. And uh, uh, welcome, everyone, to uh, uh, HBD Super Metroid. Today is Super Metroid's HBD 30th anniversary of its uh, release date, March 19th, 1994, in Japan. Came out a month later in the States, later that summer in PAL regions. Uh, one of my personal favorite games of all time. I got it for my birthday that year, and let me tell you, me and Samus went on all sorts of journeys. And she just did something there. I didn't even know you could do that in the game. She just knelt, and yeah, then all did. of a sudden a bunch of rings appeared around her, and I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> I I didn't do that when I was playing I never did that. There. What is happening? Uh, that? that was that was uh, uh, pure trickery. So yeah, uh, uh, as we have done here with a couple of games like uh, Silent Hill and like Ocarina of Time, we're going to celebrate this big uh, BD by uh, Jesse and I are just going to going to jam through the first two hours of the game. How's that sound? That sounds delightful. How are you doing, Jesse? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm having some sort of allergic reaction, oh, so I'm sorry or to hear something. That. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's weird, but hey. I take this pill. Also, I slapped my, uh, I took my headphones off when I was like, oh, let me go do that yeah. real fast. I took them off and let go and uh, snapped back. Oh, and just hit no. My glasses, like, knocked it right out of you. Oh, heard me no. shout when I was walking away. Incredible. That is amazing. Uh, in chat, it is great to see uh, so many of you here. I already see some super chats, some donos, uh, some memberships re up. Remember that uh, so much of what we do here at Second Wind is funded by your incredible support, your patronage. Uh, mm -hmm. Your support on YouTube and Twitch, those super chats, those donos, supporting our merch over at Shark Robot, supporting the Adventure is Nigh X Red Dragon in Card Game Kickstarter. Yeah, Listen, it is. It is nearing 100k. That's a hundred of the oh, yeah? k's. That's that's insane. Um, hop on that if you haven't. It is so exciting to see the uh, support for that. But uh, Super Metroid, that's what we're jumping into now. Um, Jesse, what's your history with this game? You've played it. You streamed I played, this, right? You did a, you did I a, did, you did a I, video on it. I, yeah, I did a behind schedule on it because mm -hmm. I had never played it or the original Metroid before. Um, so I went ahead and played both of those and did a video on each of them. And yeah, it's... Okay, soundtrack, top tier. Oh, like, yeah. you just can't... Actually, the soundtrack for the original one also. Yeah. Like, Go play Yoko. Put out. Yeah. That was the name of the man who did the soundtrack. I didn't just make like a weird. Oh yeah, yeah, gunpoint. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> yeah, just making noises. <laughs> uh, I might be peeking. By the way, oh, my, you I don't might know. be peeking. I might be peeking. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? We'll Lampy lower. says Jesse is peeking. We'll just lower him a little bit. What if we do that, Lampy? How does he sound now? How does he yeah, sound do lowered sound? in this society? Oh. I'm. Oh no, I'm lower. Oh no. Uh, so you played it uh, recently, or over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. for the first time. Uh, yep. And you weren't you were you weren't in love with it, were you? No, it's 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 good. I can't argue it's good. And for its time, it was especially good. And like especially compared to Metroid One, wow. Yeah. Uh, like leaps and bounds. Uh, but like compared to the modern market, it does feel real basic. Like just, there's just so many other. Uh, Scrut nannies you can play that have different like fun little mechanics and little twists and things that just compared yeah it's it's a little it's a little basic okay. but not bad well that was stretch. Jesse joining us I hope uh, everyone wish Jesse a, right, a fine a, a nice boy Aj uh, <laughs> I, I disagree uh, heartily yeah. with that I think uh, I, I said this before on a podcast the other day um, 
but uh, it is the the term Metroidvania is funny to me because it fe- literally I feel like it peaked. Speaking of peaking, I feel like the the genre oh. came out of the womb, fully formed in both this and Symphony of the Night, and uh, uh, these are mm. two games. And again, a lot of that might be blinded by nostalgia. A lot of that might be you mm. know I, I got this game for my birthday that year, and I've played it probably 15 times since then. Um, and so uh, I think this game's. Uh, uh, even aside from its mechanics and everything, I think what this game did for atmosphere and for storytelling and for sort of in, in, in environmental moods, especially at the time, was kind of incredible. As a kid, when I played this, I was like, "What is like? What? There's like a there's a cold open," and I'm like, "Oh shit! Mm-hmm. There's a voice! <laughs> like yeah. you can put a voice in a video game." Uh, and then once you actually get to Zebus, uh, it's it's sort of incredibly somber. Um, and mysterious atmosphere uh, is is uh, uh, is something that I absolutely love. So, and then mechanically, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I still have the muscle memory, but but I love it. I love Samus's <laughs> inertia. I love the combat. I love the sort of the, the power curve uh, as mm-hmm. as you get closer and closer to Mother Brain. Um, but mm-hmm. I, I could absolutely imagine there's it is also lacking, like you said, a lot of the uh, the bells, the whistles, the. Uh, um, the, the sort of quality of life uh, changes that have appeared in the genre yeah. in the 30 like, years since it came out. Playing this, it is clear that this is the groundwork of Scrutinities. Of Scrutinities. Like, it's, it's so... Did you just call Metroidvania so Scrutinities? I did call them Scrutinities. Okay. I can't call them Metroidvanias. Okay. I, I hate genre names that have a game title in them. But you're fine with genre yeah. names that have the word Scrutiny combined with the hit uh, program The Nanny? <laughs> yeah, that's exa- yeah, that's exactly what Screw it is. Screw attack nanny. That's what this Screw is a- nanny is a portmanteau of. Yeah, these Fran Drescher likes. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> that's I, why I, I always pictured Samus. Uh, you take this suit off, <laughs> and that's what that's what's underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, no, playing it, absolutely, this is what the genre is built on. Oh, yeah. Like, and... Like I and I feel like that's part of the the whole. Oh, does Ridley have active camouflage? Yeah. <laughs> really Mother Mother here. Brain uh, supplies its generals with uh, only the finest in military wear. Okay. Uh, and I do. I will back you up on like atmosphere, and like everything for especially of its time oh, that yeah. this game builds. Yeah. That. I do not feel like that is basic at all. That is like really solid work. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, and again, something that you kind of just like take for granted now because it's every game does it, but it's like, oh, every mm-hmm. game does it because this game was like bold enough yeah. to do it itself. I I literally cannot think of another game on the Super Nintendo no, that no, I played like that 2D, had. Especially the 2D platformer. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, Quintuple had... with a dollar mm-hmm. and i don't know thank you so much quintuple like these hbd pickup streams marty does listen i have a big old list of <laughs> of hbds and i i'm like weird that i feel like we can only do them on like 5 10 15 to, like those kind of milestones but it i mean technically like seven ev- yeah every day is an hbd for something that's true mm-hmm. every day something happened every day someone was born and whether that birthday uh, was happy we'll never know there's just no way we'll know it- also, Andrew Hickenbottom, member of two months, says slick haircut, cut Martholomew. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew. I got it several weeks ago. But you're the second person this week to say I had a nice haircut. So I feel like it was one of those things where I got it two weeks ago, but maybe the haircut didn't arrive for everyone else until now. And Andrew's. In the- I haven't seen you in two weeks. So there so you go. That is true. Cute. That is true. You've been doing your own little scrutiny out in D.C. I have. That sounded weird. That was just uh, in reference to Adventures. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded like you were like planning a heist or something. <laughs> you don't know. What we did I, I guess I don't. I literally do not know what season four is about. So yeah. Uh, and Lampy with two hundred bits on Twitch uh, says what you saw at the start was called the charge combo, with the power bomb selected and only one beam upgrade enabled, not counting charge beam. Charge a shot. Eventually, it will create a beam shield around Samus based on the enabled beam uh, at the cost of one power bomb. 30 years on Super Metroid still has more to teach. <laughs> it apparently does. Wow. I know there's a ton of those super uh, secret moves that um, 
uh, you the game doesn't teach you, and you can do, or you can just not do. Oh. You can clearly get through the game just fine without them, which is very cool. They, okay, well, to uh, go back on what I said and make myself sound like a real idiot, mm -hmm. maybe that is something that it has that a lot of things don't copy, is that breadth of secret moves. That's true. Everything However, does feel I, I wouldn't know that, though. Out. Cause... Yeah. Um, Symphony of the Night, uh, again, the same thing. A ton of, a ton of, uh, a ton of spells. Synergistic. Uh, a ton of spells that are kind of like you need to do like weird fighting game combos. And you just, oh. unless you do them, you just wouldn't know they're there. Unless you do them or look them oh. up. There's not even like things in the game that tell you about them. There's no like finding them in the environment or anything. It's just like, oh, I did a quarter circle up and then I hit X and suddenly a bat appeared. <laughs> wow. Which if but you do that in real life, a bat will appear. It's very scary. Oh, shoot. Let me tell you. I got, got to be careful. Got to be careful. I've also never played Symphony of the Night. Oh, that's a good the other. The other one I assume I would play and go, oh, yes, everything is. Oh, I'm seeing everything it. here, too. Yeah, Symphony of the Night's yeah. great. I did a... Um, I did replay that on stream. Uh, I did this a few years ago, probably two years ago, and then I did Symphony of the Night um, just a few, just a month or two ago, I think, maybe three months mm. ago, ten months ago. No idea how time works. Uh, but still a banger. Still a banger. In Good to opinion. know. Uh, someone mentioned in chat earlier what my list of scrut top scrutinities were, mm. and I I do think Deet Lit in Wonder Labyrinth is one of the most fun I've played. Yeah. Out that Deep record of Lodos War game. Super good. Uh, and then there's some super chats as well. Oh. Uh, hides his eyes with 999 pounds. That's not the Euro one. It says, I think we should call them side sprawlers. I'm kind of on Jesse's side. I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's okay. I can, you know, you could agree with me. <laughs> I haven't played this, but tried Castlevania and found it lacking compared to Hollow Knight. Uh, it's okay to have a correct opinion. That's, that's oh, you absolute hard monster. for people to you absolutely. We're gonna have we're, this is gonna be like that thing where you go into a tip jar uh, or you go into a, a, a coffee shop and they have like two separate tip jars and like it's like some contentious topic. Yeah, it's like was like Bulbasaur or Charmander. Yeah, exactly. Or Pokemon. Yeah, and then there's just a, a garbage can outside that says Squirtle, <laughs> and Squirtle people like me are like, I will not be eating here. I'm leaving. How dare you? You have never seen the Squirtle Squad in their sunglasses. Uh, okay. Uh, hides his eyes. Do question if this is a side sprawler. Uh, are, what's a 3D sprawl? Is it just would that be a 3D sprawler? What are the sides when you have all the sides? Yeah, like a <laughs> mul multiple side sprawler. Yeah. More than two side sprawler. Is that what it's called? More, a more than four side sprawler. I mean, there's infinite yeah. sides if you're in 3D, right? Like every no, angle would you be a side. You can't because you're not doing 4D. So, like, if you a 3D angle is all 3D sprawler gives you all the 3D angles, but sure. it doesn't give you every angle because you don't have 4D. Yeah, angles. but there's like four uh, games coming out in like a week or two called 4D Golf, and it's a miniature golf game in 4D. Really? Yeah, looks great. I have, it's, I have to play this. It is a Colorado game, through and through. I don't know what a Colorado game oh, is. Oh, uh, that's why I call a game where you look at it and you're like, oh, man, someone looks high who made that game because uh, marijuana was legalized in the good state of Colorado. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like a name I'm trying to get on. I just sometimes see a game. I'm like, ooh, that looks like a Colorado yeah. game right there. Uh, someone say Souls likes are 3D sprawlers. I still have the problem with it's got souls in the name. I can't accept it. We don't. We don't call comedy movies Charlie Chaplin likes. We should. Like, that's not... Chap no, we should. Chap Mups. <laughs> no, we shouldn't call them Chap Mups. Yeah, I think we should call them Chap Mups. Chups? I could do, though. Chups I would be okay with. All horror movies what about to me chaps? are, are Exorcisers. <laughs> <laughs> Exorcisers. Yeah. Ooh, Keeper Day, uh, Keeper Day says Wide Sprawlers. That I'm, sounds like those I'm dudes on the. That. Those are dudes on the on public transportation who like spread their legs too much. It's like, listen, we all we all need our little space. Just I like wide sprawlers. <laughs> wide sprawlers. Also, Leslie Nielsen likes. Yeah, that's a that's like airplane. Yeah, Leslie. Those Nielsen's kinds great. of movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have more super chats. SBS Guru with five euro. 
That's the one you can spend lots of places. Uh, it says, so, do you spend slash wait money on a hairdresser, or do you cut your hair yourself in front of the mirror with some electric shears? Are you Marty? saying, like, oh, did I? Uh, I think I, we can both answer it. Yeah, I no, I uh, I mean, I went to, a, I didn't go to, like, a fancy hairdresser. I used to, uh, I got kind of hairdress spoiled because I, I dated a hairdresser for several years, and so I just got very good free haircuts. Um, and, nice. And, uh, now we're not dating ever, so now I have to pay a stranger to do it. <laughs> it feels very strange. Uh, no, but I just went to a place. It wasn't like a, wasn't a, wasn't a super fancy place or anything. It was it one of those like it wasn't one of those like man cave. No, like, I've been try... to like one. Uh, I, I've been to like a, a fancy barber once, and it was one of those where it was like, oh, while you're waiting, let me. Would you like a coffee or like a or, or like a whiskey? And then I'm like, this is great. And then I went to pay, oh, and I'm like, whiskey? this is terrible. What if I just went to a bar and then went and got my haircut and saved so much money? <laughs> what if I did <laughs> these two things separate? Wow. Yeah. What about you? Do you stand in the mirror? I do stand in the mirror because oh, I, brave. I, yeah, I flippers and then I hold a mirror and I look in the mirror and I do the sides in the back. Incredible. Thanks. I've been doing that for so many years. And then I went to a barber for a while when I was growing my hair sure. out and just trying different things. And ultimately was like, I, I did, I never found a cut that I was like, I like this enough to keep paying for sure, it. Sure, sure. They're always like yeah, asking me about numbers too, and I'm like, listen, what are we doing? They're like, what, what number do you want on the side? I'm like, this isn't fucking yeah, geometry. Number? Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, Marty, what number do you want? Just make me know. look like Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look like the bald number? boy from Dune 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one more super chat from Angry Drew Hickabottom with five pounds. The limited currency says don't know towards replacing Marty's broken cupboard door with one of these weird domed Metroid doors. Oh, that would be cool. If instead of the broken so closet gotta... in the background, I have like a, a purple or like a green, a green dome. Nice. But what if that broke, I feel like it'd be a massive pain in the ass. Yeah, I'd have to shoot it every time. Like <laughs> I want to get into what, the closet. Like, what would you shoot it with? Would it be like nerf dart activated? Oh, would sure. Sure. Like... I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the world is your oyster. Yeah. It could be anything. These doors were designed for missiles. Yours could be designed for, yeah, I don't know, good. maybe you got to throw like a ball of cat hair at it or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's our morph ball. <laughs> uh, oh, Lampy with 200 bits says, Marty, on Jesse's first playthrough of this sequence, uh, oh, he sequence broke the game to get early grapple hook. I did. Was that, that did you, was that where you just sort of like you have to go through a dark room? I don't remember the spot, but I did sequence break it pretty hard. Yeah, there's a couple and some it was sequence fun. breaks you could do are um, there's like dark rooms that you can kind of just feel your way through that otherwise would be mm -hmm. a pain in the ass, or um, there's. Uh, there's certain things like if once you get the the, the morph ball and the uh, little bomb, you can kind of like if you time it right, like bomb your way up to things that you should not be able to get to yet. I didn't do that one. Yeah. It was way too hard. Oh, the giant spike pit. Yeah, Lampy. Thank you, Lampy. It was the giant spike pit where oh, like yeah. I had the freeze ray and I was just freezing the enemies. Uh, yeah, yeah. You like jump across. Yeah. I, I use that save state. I think it took me with the the switch replay, like the save state rewind function. I think it took me like an hour and a half to get there and back again. It was Hobbit's tail madness. Did you but feel good at the end jumping, of it? I did. That was that's the thing I do like about this game is the sequence breaking, yeah. where it doesn't go. No, you can't do that yeah. invisible wall. It's like, oh, did you figure it out? Yeah. I mean, okay. You might also soft lock yourself. Because... Yeah, the game's like, okay, that's an insane thing you did, but I'm not going to say you can't do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which that I really liked about this game. Even though I didn't do it too often, the fact that it was there like, yeah. really, really made it something special. And I don't know if that's how common that is anymore. Like, I feel like they might be almost not too tuned in a bad way. Yeah. But like... No, I think a lot of... 
I think I know like Hollow Knight can be sequence broke quite a bit. Um, I, th I, th I think a lot of the like more well-regarded uh, Metroidvania slash Screw Dandies can still do that. Souls games can definitely still be sequence broken. Levy says I'm so happy to get the power up at the end. That's true. I was happy to get the power up at the end because I didn't know what was on the other side of this impossible task. What if it was just nothing? <laughs> it, was... it could have been like a missile upgrade yeah. for all I knew. Or like, here's a wall. Do you have this thing? No. Well, I guess you better go back. The word when I was replaying uh, Zelda games uh, last year, I, no. I, mean, I I don't remember which. That might have been several Zelda games, but there would always be these like totally pain in the ass, out of the way treasure chests and I'd like go and I'd find them and I'd open them up I'd be like for the love of god just don't be rupees and it would just be like here's some <laughs> rupees and I'm like I already have all the rupees why are you giving me more of this why are you so out of the way if you have like a fucking blue rupee uh, I was of this room too with the, the four, the four uh, beastly masters of the planet and every time you kill mm -hmm. one their little gem goes out I think it's, neat. it's it's a great touch yeah it's weird that they just, like, built that statue of, like, here's my four best friends. <laughs> I built a statue yeah. of all of them, and then I put it on top of my house, and I live below it. <laughs> that, that, and then also, like, I also attached the glowing gems to their heartbeat. If it ever goes out, well, I <laughs> yeah. guess their eyes will just shut off. Then I'll know my friends are dead. Yeah. It's, like, a really weird... <laughs> uh, and then Andrew Hickenbottom... Uh, with five pounds, says, uh, you see the Furiosa trailer. I'm so heckin' excited. It looks awesome. Also, sorry, I've been in many... I haven't... Sorry, I've not been in many live streams. There we go. That's how reading works. Uh, of late, busy, I watch the VODs. Hey, glad you watched the VODs. But and shame on you, you for not being on the live streams. <laughs> for shame. Oh, uh, I have not. I saw that the new Furiosa trailer dropped minutes before we went live but i was in a meeting oh. right before this so oh i, I have no mouth and i have not furiosa <laughs> i i have a mouth and i haven't furiosa i didn't know <laughs> i gotta check it out i fury road was fantastic oh so yeah i i want to at least look at i'm furious I'm, I'm, I'm excited I, I love george miller same director i'm a big fan of anya taylor joy and my chris hemsworth's which one's the Chris Hemsworth? He's Thor. Oh, that's the Thor. Okay. The the Hemsworths, I can't keep them apart. And I think there's like four other blonde actors who aren't Hemsworth that I also mix up with Hemsworths. <laughs> Probably just other Marvel superheroes. They all just bleed together. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they do. Uh, Labor with 100 Bits says, Metroid Dread actually had a hidden kill method against a boss if you sequence broke and got morph bombs early. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I remember that. I think, like, uh, it was Kraid, the big dude, and Kraid could, like, suck you in, and then if you morph balled while you were inside of him, he would, like... Oh. That's a pro tip, too. If you morph ball when you're inside of something, they won't be around for long. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Adam Heikakela... It's definitely how you pronounce it. Oh no! What happened? H H E I K K I L A. How? Hi yeah. Hi Kakela. Hi Hi Kakela. Hi Kakela. Uh, thanks for spotlighting one of my favorite games of all yeah. time. I think the Metroid series was the first game to seamlessly make the three D transition. Ooh. Uh, Interesting take. Yeah. I haven't played Dread. Or not Dread, uh, Prime. Prime. Yeah. That was the first 3D one, right? That was, yeah, Metroid Prime 1, yeah. I uh, I don't think I've heard a, a technically bad thing about it. No, people people, people love it. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's the, the first game, because Metroid Prime came after stuff like uh, Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time and Metal Gear Solid. Um, but uh, Metroid Prime, I mean, it might be the the best example of a thing going from not first person to first person mm -hmm. like that was a real that was a real that was a real choice on the part of old retro studios there yeah okay so you mentioned a bunch of what do you think was the best the first like we did it guys uh good job transition to 3d i mean mario 64 is like my boring so? answer yeah um even though I, I i think they kept refining that but um Mario was like such a like I don't I don't think 
Um, this just might be old man yelling at cloud talking. I don't think there will ever be a like technological leap, a single technological leap that imp that that moves the medium forward and at least impressed me so much as first seeing uh, Mario 64. That was a massive leap. Yeah. From it was, from it just was like, oh, everything's different now. Um, yeah. Pretty wild. At that generational jump from I, I remember it was fifth to sixth gen. Yeah, or whatever. So yeah, fourth to fifth. I don't know how numbers work, but um, yeah. yeah, from Super Nintendo to to that was just just wild. I mean, like, oh my god, there's a fucking analog. How do I move this man around a 3D world? And it just kind of worked. It was mm -hmm. like, oh, this just makes sense. And the things they did for like making that work in weird ways like uh resident evil and stuff being like well let's just paint some, some 2d things and, yeah yeah it'll be know. fine we'll just have your character just wander around this space yeah like there was so much weird stuff that worked i was like could was this ever possible yeah yeah i i feel like vr could eventually be that but it's still so clunky yeah, I was. I just. I. I. I don't know. VR hasn't. Uh, I feel like VR is 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 not kind of moving the needle in terms of like winning over the hearts and minds of uh, of of the public yet. I think yeah. there's still kind of like a, a technological slash aesthetic barrier to entry. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there still <laughs> doesn't seem like there's like that game that you could just walk by and be like, oh my god, I need this. Right. It's like super hot VR is very fun. Yeah. Am I going to spend a thousand dollars on yeah, equipment yeah. play it at home? It's no. Also just you need a lot of space. And like when I was, I, mean, yeah. I have space now that I have a house. But like when I was living in in San Francisco, I was like I had a, I had a like a bedroom and a four bedroom apartment, and like my life was in that <laughs> bedroom. So like I didn't have room to fucking all right set up my sensory cameras and clear out the space. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Uh, Kudlak, 13, member four months. Thanks! Says, hey. I think, uh, Tarkovsky, am I saying that right? Uh, could do, yeah. yeah, I think so. Uh, could do a Metroid animated show. Oh, I could Ooh, see that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That'd be great. Oh, I'm on board with this idea. I mean, I... I'm, uh, fully confident that a Metroid something is currently in development or in the ideation process given how successful the Mario movie was. Yeah. I think Nintendo is uh, going to go all in on this. Yeah, I mean, really... the coolest thing yeah. I think would be an animated series that is uh, relatively dialogue f minimal. And like you said, that Tartakovsky oh like, you know, his work on Primal and stuff like that, like that'd be great. Yeah. I Dialogue minimal stuff I find so fascinating. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I think Metroid would be a really good candidate for that yeah and it's so like aesthetic forward mm -hmm. that um I think it would work really well yeah just let let someone go ham on that yeah and then also nicholas cabella with 500 hours and says yay or nay super metroid remade by mercury steam with the Metroid 2 slash Dread engine. Uh, so Mercury Steam were the developers who did uh, Metroid, uh, the, the, the Metroid uh, 2 remake for uh, oh, 3DS, DS. and then they did Metroid Dread uh, lately. So they did Samus wow. Returns and that. Um, I would just like to see them do an original. I don't necessarily think they need to... Um, remake Super Metroid? To remake this, yeah. Um, I think it's one of those like it's cool that they got to do it, and I feel like they have proven themselves. And um, dread, dread was so cool that like yeah, you could make your own thing. Yeah, so I would be on. more interested in them making an original Metroid than yeah. remaking Super. I'd be curious to see what they because I believe they've also worked on Mercury Steam. I think in the past might have done um, like the, there was a 2D Castlevania game. I think they might have worked on that. Like one of the. Mm -hmm. Like the 2.5D. I would just be curious to see what other uh, franchises, like they could lend there, even if it's other Nintendo stuff. Like I don't know, give them a, give them a stab at something else and see what they could do with it. Yeah, that's that's a, our yay and nay on it. Yeah. There you go. I mean, if they just announced I guess it, it, technically a nay. 
<laughs> I guess it's technically an A. Yeah, this is, I don't know, This a lot of those Super Nintendo games, I feel like they almost don't need to be remade. And again, maybe that is, I'm fully aware of my own personal bias in there, but it just seems like their <laughs> aesthetic is so, um, is so sound that, like, I don't know, there's like, I think other things to spend your time on remaking. And, uh, for... For remaking stuff, a, a question I find myself asking is like, okay, but why? Like, what yeah. is the, and I know, oh my gosh, deep thought, Jesse, ooh. But like, what can you bring to it that it doesn't have? Yeah. Like, yeah. what's, why does it need to be remade rather than either just remastered or ported? Uh, or just enjoyed as it is. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we talk about a lot. Like, does it? Wouldn't it make more sense to like remake games that might have missed the mark the first time? Oh yeah, absolutely. And, like, see if I've... you can like really improve it. But at the same time, you get like a Resi Four remake, and I'm like, damn, the original Resi Four sure was good, and damn, Resi Four remake <laughs> sure is good. Like, it's good. Yeah. Also heard the Quest version, the VR version, really good. Uh, real good, yeah. One day we'll get a bad Resi 4 and we'll all be shocked. Yeah, that's what we need. We as a society just need a bad Resi 4. There was like an iPhone version, like a... Oh, that's true, like there that. was. So that was probably that was probably junk. That's probably a bad version. Uh, Lampy with 200 biddies and says, I imagine a child Marty having an existential crisis because Mario is in 3D uh, and nothing will be the same again. I literally, for as bad as my memory is, I literally remember being at a Toys R Us uh, that summer, and it was like the summer before the N64 came out, and they had a kiosk there, and I remember playing it for the first time and being like, everything's different now. You don't understand, Mom. You could move into the background. There is no background. It's every direction. And then she's like, well, it's not 4D, and I was like, shut up, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Little Lionhead says a VR is like having a car in a big city. You want a friend with one in case you need it, but owning your that's own a, is too expensive. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, that's that's pretty on point, yeah. actually. All right, we got more super chats. They're freaking blown up. Andrew Hickabottom with another five pounds. That says another guilt dono for not being on live streams much. Good. Jesse, do you still do personal streams? Not seen anything on YouTube for a while, Twitch only. Uh, I thank you for asking. I haven't done any since I started working uh, for Second Wind because I've been doing other stuff and have not had the time. I would still like to. I mean, really, what I'd like to do is just be like, hey, I'll just, I'll just stream over here for these. Like, I would love to do like a regular retro stream. R -r -r retro. Like, yeah, Listen, it's like I haven't played Mario any 64. HBDs. Look up any HBDs you want to HBD. Yeah. What if I, what, does it have to be HBD? What if I'm like, hey, this will be, you know, uh, 26 years old in that's, two months. Can I play this? The today? That's the prelude to the HBD. <laughs> yeah, that works. We're, we're getting coming getting up ready on... for the big HBD. Oh, can we can we make an excuse? It's like, oh, this game's having a birthday coming up, so we're gonna play it now to plan its surprise for Yeah, don't tell anyone though. Don't, yeah, <laughs> don't tell Miyamoto that we're planning this for his baby. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I haven't done anything, but I would like to either do more over here or eventually. Yeah, I would like to do some more. Also, RPG stuff. Like, like That's happening. Chrono Trigger. Oh no, like tabletop. Oh, because I need RPG help desk. Which is weekly talking about RPGs, and it was really fun. Heck yeah. Uh, so thanks, Andrew Hickamonum. You don't need to feel guilty, but thanks for giving us money. Yeah. So and that's cool. The guilt makes it taste all the better. <laughs> yep. That's how it works. The guilt's tears. I really like how you bombed the thing, and then the wall was like, hey, if you want to blow me up, you have to have this. Yeah. And I would be like, if you had a brick wall and punched yeah. it and then like the paint came off and it was like actually this is the anti-brick thing yeah, you need yeah. it's just a little <laughs> picture of it and you're like oh okay I'll well, that makes get sense. That. Yeah, yeah. that checks out not sure what anti-brick is but whatever it is um, that will be painted on it yeah the anti-brick Lucifer uh, Adam Hi Kayla 
I know that now because in Adam Ikeela's $5 super chat says, LOL, Ikeela. Hell yeah. Look at uh, I enjoyed that. Uh, the first game that, quote, felt the same for me, not the first uh, critically successful, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Mm -hmm. So, like, for you personally, this was 3D. This is where it's at. I'm trying to think of... What would be my favorite? Okay, I'm guessing yours really is Mario. Like, not only first, but also just the biggest one. Yeah, yeah, for you. I think that's, yeah, both, both, honestly, both answers. Uh, yeah, I remember being really impressed by Doom. Seeing Doom when I was a kid on my, like, uncle's computer. It seemed oh, very yeah. scary. That, like, 2.5D. Like, I mean, I guess Monsters it's 3D. so mean. They just looked so mean. <laughs> they looked they so were just, mean. I was just like, this is actual hell. Why would I want to be here? I mean, yeah, they're they're from hell, Marty. Uh, Snake in the Garden with two pounds. Nope, that's a euro. Two euros. It says El Cheshire pitched Jesse showdown when? Smiley face? Yeah, the joust of the Jessies. The I'm for you, it. You got a joust? I, th I think <laughs> it's just the title. Oh. Uh, that he went with for the for the alliteration. Oh, Jesse, Jesse, and Jess. Yeah, we're the three of us. The famous law firm. Got to fight each Jesse, other at something. Yeah, our famous law firm. We know two of you like Yu-Gi-Oh. That is true. Yeah. Maybe Jess is like a Yu-Gi-Oh savant, and just doesn't realize it. Maybe. In her bloodstream. <gasps> at the heart of the cards. You you just plow through things, being like, nah, I can take that hit. I was so nervous. Oh yeah, again, that just like, uh, hey, from from as much time as I've spent in the game, just being like, well, I can get hit here. That's fine. Like, <laughs> as long as nothing's beeping, it's fine. As soon as I get hurt so much that it starts beeping, I'm like, I've made a mistake. I should have been more careful. <laughs> uh, Keeper Days with 200 biddies says Jesse and Jack should do an RPG stream series. I agree. I'll. If I, if I tell Jack, it'd be like, Jack, do you have time this week while everybody's at GDC? Jitica. And we can just get on a stream together and complain about alignments <laughs> and why it's a garbage mechanic. What's the deal with alignments? <laughs> oh, alignments. Yeah. I was thinking like, like car, like tire, like having your tires aligned. And I was like, what is the deal with alignment? Why, I, you I still got genuinely do not know. I don't understand. That would be great. I would love that answer. <laughs> because <laughs> God knows I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'll, uh, thanks Keeper. I'll, I'll probably, I'll try and remember to message Jack today and see if he has time. And if he does, maybe we can do a surprise thing. Cause who's here to stop us? There's no cops. Marty probably. I guess Marty could stop There's us. There's no cops. <laughs> Listen, no, no I cops, know how to set no up streams gods. now, so we don't even need Nick. Oh shoot. Yeah. Fucking, I did this one's homemade stream. This oh is, my this God. This is fully snout to trout. Organic. I made this stream. <laughs> I I, don't, I can't think of what is that term? I keep I always say snout to trout, and that's not what I mean. Like ass, ass to ass, ass to, to ass mouth. mouth. What's that term for like that's, using something the entirety of an animal? You, it's you, not ass to mouth. Snout to trout. Right now. Snout that's to a trout. different term. Snout to trout. Uh, what's a trout? It's a fish. <laughs> it's, okay, <laughs> okay, but fit, so it's like, but what if you have a deer? The only rhyme. That's soup to nuts is the term I was trying to think of, which <laughs> doesn't make it doesn't make any more sense than than fucking snout to trout. Oh, Christina says tip to taint. That makes sense. Sure, tip to taint. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay, let me go back. Fort here. tonight. This is fort uh, tonight. Andrew Hickabottom with five pounds. It says Jesse quote the body Ventura. Uh, Jesse, the what, Kalina, what would yours be? Mm. I have no idea. It's it's not the body. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe the booty, but ah! not the body. I'd go Jesse the booty. Oh, shit, I jumped right in this man's mouth. Jesse the booty. <laughs> you already got the super jump? Yeah. 
Jeez, you are tearing through this. You do know my, this game. Uh, my, the other save file I had on here was three hours and 14 minutes, and so that's how long it took me to beat it. Um, wow. On stream, whenever that was. Uh, Snake in the Garden with two euro. It says, tip to tail, soup to nuts. Great job, Marty. Thank you. Listen. Tip to tail. I, I was, I've was i been mocked for things. I, guess I was mocked for HPD, and then we saw who was who, who won that war. It was me. <laughs> I won the HPD war. I was mocked. I was told I was insane. Uh, Why were you told you were insane for? Uh, I was told that I made I, I made up HPD and that HPD is not real. And then people come up to me, tears in their eyes, and they say, "Sir, <laughs> thank you for thank you for talking about HPD." Also, this one's funny because it's H, uh, I believe Fungus Finder posted HPDSM because uh, that's what this is. <laughs> Which one? <it's>, ooh, <laughs> this is a different stream now. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's 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 a good joke. <laughs> Try it. That's funny. All right, you got me. Uh, oh, Jesse the fun guy, Galena. That's funny. You speak easy. Do you like f mushrooms? I mean, I play one on TV. So. Oh, duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh boy Tsunami-doucher? Tsunami-doucher Tsunami-doucher? Like tsunami, like being douched by a tsunami Oh, Tsunami-doucher Yeah That's a powerful douche that is, <laughs> That's a powerful douche <laughs> that's, Mamma that's mia <laughs> That's what, the first Oof time douche. Mario used a bidet <laughs> 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 where am I going? Oh, I'm going this way. I know where I'm going. Uh, Get this fucking uh, mini, mini crate out of here. I like this dude, who's just a little version of a big dude you're going to fight. So it's oh, like, yeah. you just kill his kid. <laughs> you kill his kid, and then you go to his house and you kill him. I'm like, Samus, you're cold-blooded. Yeah, first time I played this, I was like, why was he so tiny in this one? <laughs> uh, so, Tsunami Doucher. With twenty dollars, says Mario sixty four was the leap of three D movement and three D camera control. Zelda sixty four uh, was the peak of targeting objects. Yeah, Ooh, excuse me, three D space. And Mario Party slash Super Smash Brother was the leap uh, of you of you on hating your friends yeah. though through video games. Yeah, yeah that's true. N sixty four created me hate. Uh, I think it created hatred in my heart. Um, between yeah. uh, Goldeneye Cart uh, Party and uh, um, Smash. So just some real angry games. Yeah, that a whole generation was born, birthed into hatred because the N64. Thanks, Miyamoto. <laughs> that's, that's the generational jump we'll never get again. Marty, if you were if you were uh, the battle of the Martys, what would your Marty the blank Sleva be? Would be Marty Question. the HPD. Marty the H Sleva. <laughs> HPDSM Sleva. I didn't hit him at all in the mouth. <gasps> uh, uh, it would be it would be HPD, but it could say Happy Beatdown, and that would be. Ooh. I like it. Oh, I fell under his he throwing his freaking yeah. toenails at you? Yeah, he's, just be, he's being a fucking sick, gross dude. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Get out of here, Craid. What kind of name, name is Craid? doesn't sound bad, but you made it sound bad. Fucking Craid. Killed you. Killed you, dumb kid. I'm taking all your sundries. <laughs> taking all your sundries home with me. Andrew Hickabob suggests he probably thinks this monster is cuter than Bambi or Rainbow Dash. You are correct. Prade is better than Bambi. Is cuter than Bambi. <laughs> what do you have against Bambi? Bambi's a deer. Deer are terrible creatures. Oh, okay. We're just, we're just anti deer. <laughs> yeah, just deer. Just deer. Trout deer the snout. You're anti deer. 
<laughs> yeah, deer make a sport out of running into cars. I and being, you know what? I don't like it. I remember being amazed. I'm gonna stand this. up for humanity and be like, "Deer, <laughs> you're mean. Stop it." They'll be driving on their in their forests. Think about that. I feel like I'm victim blaming at this point. <laughs> See, that's 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 Casey's argument. It was like, whatever. We we went into their space, and I was like, that's victim blaming. No. <laughs> I mean, we did though. <laughs> uh, I was always amazed by this this single this dude. That there's just like a dead body who's like yeah. is wearing similar armor as you, but it's like gray, and it's just got his fucking head blown off, and it's got goop everywhere. And I think it was really cool that like, oh, I wasn't like the first person to try to uh, oh, no. impregnate Craig's fortress. I don't know why I said impregnate. I could have used <laughs> so many other words. There's right, just right. like there's like a fucking million verbs I could have used instead of impregnate. <laughs> but anyways, this guy could try to impregnate the fortress, and look what happened to him. His fucking head blew up. So let that yep. be a listen to everyone. It shows you how good Samus is. Yeah. The master of impregnating. Uh, Bojango. Hi, $5. It says, I'd watch Jack, Jesse, and random D&D related guest podcast talking about things. I'm good, because that's what I want to do. I got to get Jack on board. Because that would be really fun. Yeah. Have you? Okay, the aside from the news. Adventure is Nice side quest, do you have experience at rpgs uh i played one um i had one campaign uh that started during covid that i played with some pals over zoom oh really uh and i had a great time and that lasted probably like two years or so so that was my um that that, that is my main experience in DD. so i came to uh side quest uh with a, a bit of back knowledge so i wasn't completely okay. out of my element Nice. Uh, yeah, the campaign was great. It was. Uh, I really liked the people I did it with. A really, a really um, funny and gracious uh, DM, much like Jack. Aw. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I've never had. Uh, I've never had like uh, DM horror stories um, that that I've heard from other people. Luckily. That's good. Yeah. That's a that's a great way to be. Oh no, you got two of them on you. Got a couple of these fuckers. There's got to be something going on in this room. You can't just you can't just make a room and not have anything in it. What are we doing? Uh, Snake in the Garden with two euro and says, "Battle for the Midwest Dokapon version two. Ooh, we're still we still have Dokapon version one. I promise <laughs> yeah, you, we, we still gotta get through it. That. Of there Dokapon, I've been itching for it. Itching for that Dok. Yeah, we tried to. Um, uh, we I keep talking, but we did. We tried to find a, a weekend in February uh, to do like a beefy doke upon. Uh, it's just it's yeah. hard, it's hard to organize four people's schedules. It really is. Yeah, I think we could do it. I think we could pull it off soon. Oh, uh, will I? Oh, we'll make it happen. Especially once everyone now that everyone's back. Um, mm -hmm. I know we're already sort of penciling in some ideas for some some big old fancy streams um, in the coming months. Uh, so uh, I'm sure I'm sure this will be a part of it. The Doke. Can't forget about the Doke. There's also there's like uh, a, there's a Demon Slayer esque uh, board uh, board game game what coming out soon like a Mario Party Demon Slayer version. So uh, I'm excited for that. But that feels like that's gonna be one of those Switch games where you get no codes, and I'm like, ooh. So do we spend like two hundred fifty dollars on this game? Is it gonna be worth it? So that'll oh, be no. our funny goal. We'll just start doing these off like one off uh, uh, side funding goals. Like, hey, we you just got to pay for our codes for this game because it's very expensive. Yeah, we just need three hundred dollars yeah. for four codes. <laughs> and it's on Nintendo, which means it'll just never go on sale because Nintendo doesn't and, care about any of us. God, that's true. I still look at Kirby games when I'm out, like at a used game store. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, this Dream or this uh, not Dreamcast, this like Wii Kirby game. Yeah. Oh boy, oh it's still sixty dollars, yeah. huh? <laughs> it is for insane. Happy. It is genuinely insane. <clears throat> like it, it just never goes down. It's madness. Man, used games are fucking expensive. I've gotten back into um, <clears throat> I'm sort of dabbling in, in, in growing my collection of kind of weird oddities and stuff yeah. from older consoles I like. And man, like I've, I found some great deals, which has been great, but they are few and far between, and most of the stuff is expensive as shit. Mm hmm. I've gotten. Because gotten people, good... people uh, started... know about collecting. Yeah, and it wasn't like that like 10 years ago. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, 
you could uh you could have bought a lot of cool shit for pretty cheap um whereas now like i i feel fortunate when i luck out and find relatively cheap dreamcast games because i'm trying to build that out and at this point i'm just like fucking any dreamcast game i'll buy do you have the echo the dolphin dreamcast i do have echo the dolphin (gasps) yeah i'm excited i want to play that again also 9.999 9.999 HBD, which means uh, oh. uh, 9.99 2024. 25th I, HBD. You want to mail me your Dreamcast and Echo? Because <laughs> I don't have either of them. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I, I remember playing that game. A friend brought it over and we were playing it. And all we did was beach Echo and see who could like shoot Echo the farthest onto land. Yeah. And it's pretty much all, all we, we did. did. I think we swam around Echo. some. It's really fun. I'm curious what the game is actually like. Uh, I also have Sonic Shuffle, which was the very bad Sonic Mario Party clone. Yeah. I have heard so much bad stuff about yeah. that. I feel like almost every Mario Party clone is bad. Um, aside from Dokemon. And that's not really, that's kind of its own. Yeah, that's re- its I, own I honestly wouldn't put it in the same category yeah. as Mario Party. Uh, Lambie with 100 bits says you don't need sales when people always want your stuff unfortunately it's kind of true classic Nintendo alright there's a couple more super chats Hunter Raj Roj R-O-G-E it's not Rogue <laughs> even though my brain's telling me it's Rogue <laughs> but it's French not. Rogue Rouge Rouge Hunter Rouge uh, with $10 says uh, in the first game there was a fake crad Great, great. That's how you say it. Great. Yeah. Uh, you could run into on the way to the fight with real Kraid. The little guy is a reference to that. Also glad to see you nerds playing my favorite game of all time. Heck Thanks, yeah. Hunter. I remember the little guy in the original game. I, I like don't. to think canonically it is um, his uh, Kraid son that we killed. Oh. Wait, so, you, so, so did Kraid have another son after death and then you killed that one too? Yeah, Kraid is just like, Kraid, Kraid fucks a lot. So Kraid has a ton of kids. <laughs> Kraid also apparently has access to necromancy because yeah. just straight up comes back. <laughs> is there some, some nonsense going on in this one? Uh, and Jombly Wombly with $2. Thanks, Jombly. says, in memory of Gunpai Yo- uh, Yokoi, yeah. no pressure, Marty. Oh, I will, I will, I will, I will honor his, his memory by getting to the wrong side of a door. I know what I, I mean. Die. Really, is there? There's no better way any, to honor a memory, yeah, than right? getting to a door and be like, "Ah, oh, shit!" It opens from the other side. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. You gotta watch out for that xenomorph head. Yeah, these guys are real. These guys are real chodes. Just hanging out on the wall and just like throwing up blue flames on you. Why are they hanging out right there? Like, what? What creature live. is that? I like how like some games are trying to be like, hey, we wanna we wanna actually display an ecosystem, and then this game is mm-hmm. just like, we got this fucking head in a wall, and it is not thrilled that you are here. <laughs> <laughs> it's actively mad. <laughs> oh, there's that seahorse, but with legs. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing underground? You could have just stayed there. I guess I could have also not killed you, but. Oh yeah, I remember what this is. This is gonna be some fucking jumping shenanigans. I definitely oh, no. abused uh, the. I don't know how how you played the game, but I was abusing safe states when I was streaming it. Oh, um, absolutely. The rewind feature was my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, on th- jumps, like uh, I think this is one of those cause sort of like pain in the ass jumps. Mm-hmm. Especially when you got angry Bloomin. That was a thing uh, that I think I mentioned in the review, too, was like because of the use of save states, Mm -hmm. I wasn't getting as good at the game as it wanted me to get to progress to where I was going in the amount of time. Yeah. So it's like I've gotten to where I've gotten to a point in the game, but I haven't developed the skills that most normal players have. Yeah, I. I, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Honestly, what I use, I, I that's the exact same thing with me in safe states. Even with like games when I play it online, very easy. I'm like, I don't, I just, I'm just not going to engage with this mechanic. <laughs> like, I'm just going to power my way through this. Is 
some people naming the horse in the chat, and I really appreciate Foghorn Leg Horse. Foghorn that's, Leg Horse is very that's good. good. But yeah, like the and I, and that's an on me thing where it's like, hey, oh sure, the game was not designed for that. Yeah, that and technology like, I, literally didn't exist. Mm, so like, I understand that like part of my problem with the game and its difficulty curve is my problem. Not the game's fault. But also, some things were just pains in the ass, and I'm like, I don't want. Oh yeah, some things. I like, don't want to have to like walk all the way around because I fucked up like a real like specific job. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like, look, I understand this is what you want, but I don't agree with you. I this is not worth my time, and it's either I do it this way or I stop doing yeah. it. These are our options. Because, like, in 1994, when I was a kid, yeah, sure, I had that kind of time. Yeah. As as a whole ass adult. <laughs> Let me tell you. With other games Zero to time. play. It's like, I ain't putting up with that. I got, like, two games I'm willing to put that kind of time into. <laughs> and they're called Dead and By Daylight. <laughs> Crap, how did you know? The big two. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Lampy with 200 bits says, uh, so I presume Marty is just going to beat the game on stream. I, and to what it feels like, I think it took me like a month of playing two days a week to get to where you are right now. Yeah, it's, uh, again, it's all, it's all, just, it's almost like muscle memory at this point because I've played it so much. But, um, no, I don't think I'm going to be, like I said, my, my previous save file said three hours and 14 minutes. So. And I'm not even like that. Like there are some people in chat who I saw were like, "Oh, you didn't do the wall jump to a secrets break thing." So there's like, there's like a whole layer of 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 people who play this game at a completely different level than I do. Like, um, I don't think I'm like encyclopedic in any game. But like that being said, there's like a handful of Super Nintendo games where I'm like, I feel like these are the ones I, I probably have known, I know the best just because I've fucking played them the most. Yeah. Been there. That was Mario Kart. Yeah. I had like, it's, it's one of those where you play the game enough and you know, you only have like one game. Yeah, yeah. And and I was like, well, let me just, you know, try get the best time on every, yeah. every time trial. Because what else am I going to do? Exactly. And I had too much ADD to do it the for everyone. But I was like, oh, well, I could just do this. And then, you know, keep freaking beat a map in like 30 seconds yeah. because I choose Bowser and figure out all these shortcuts. Oh, I need to swamp down here. I think the ice beam. Uh, Darwin's dummy saying any percent speed run is just over 40 minutes. And 100% oh. is a bit under 115. A bit under 115. That's very That's intense. Wild. To 100%, you can do every single thing in this game. A bunch of sickos. I tell you, all of them. Top to bottom, sickos. Sickos that I appreciate because I love watching a uh, game so quick. Because I'm like, I, I love watching a game that I feel like I know very well, and then I watch a game so quick thing, and I'm like, oh, I don't know anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how any of this game works. Oh my gosh, you could do that? Why are you running backwards? That is nonsense. Yeah, one one hour, twelve minutes, seventeen seconds. Someone named Hundo is what Ermiger is saying. Oh no, I'm that's not wow. That's wild. Yeah, that is some. That is that is snout to trout right there. Hundo is one absolutely snout to trout snout to trout player. I really appreciate that you stopped, froze that guy specifically so you could uh, use him as a landing pad to not go in the lava and then missed him <laughs> and went straight in the lava. That's just, you know, that's just classic Samus. <laughs> always, always causing a little mischief. It's like if you opened a door and then walked into the plate glass next to it. <laughs> I just wanted you to know I knew how to open the door. <laughs> Had to, had to prove it. 
to myself and everybody around me. But also, you can't tell me what to do. I'll run in this in this window. <laughs> Do you know what those things are supposed to be? Those like hedgehog crab things that walk around in circles? I think you nailed it. Hedgehog crabs. <laughs> I hedgehog mean, honestly, crab? it feels like that's what they're supposed to be. Yeah. That kind of weird little alien. I don't have the bomb yet, but um, blowing blowing this tube up was also one of the most... Uh, I, I don't know how oh. I figured out how to do it, and I did it. I didn't have a player's guide for this game or anything. I don't remember yeah. anyone in my school. I, th I think it was just like, I don't know. It was just very, it, was, it blew my GD mind as a child. I know that was a, a thing that chat was telling me to do. They were like, blow up this thing. Yeah. Go back, go back to this to blow up. Hey boy, remember when you get bombs, come here and blow us up. <laughs> I I probably would not have figured that out. No, I don't even know. Like it doesn't, it's just weird because there's nothing else in the game that even teaches you that. That's just like a singular, event mm -hmm. yeah it's so weird weird little one-off things yeah which i i'm torn on because part of me is like oh i love it when they put weird things like that in games but then you're like but it's also like you, you didn't teach me anything about this like this feels like right. an exam on a completely different subject mm -hmm. yeah so it's I, just, I don't know how to feel. That's going to be the name of my uh, uh, first solo album. I don't know, I don't how, to know how to feel. Yeah. God, this music's so good. <laughs> it is really good. <laughs> George Lucas said, any updates on that Metroid Prime thing? Metroid Prime 4 thing? Oh, yeah, that's, you know... It's still in theory. Well, yeah, I, I, it wouldn't shock me if we hear about it this year. Um, yeah? Yeah, whether it's... Nintendo needs a fall game and they don't have one. Um, so if that's going to be like a cross-generation thing that comes out on regular Switch and then they release a fancy version on Super Switch um, whenever that comes out. Um, I don't know. Super Switch U. Oh my god. They're not allowed to use the, the letter U in anything now. Miyamoto yeah, bans it from all marketing. <laughs> It can't even it can't even have a word with yeah. you in it, so super's out of the question. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it very tough to release some of their old games. Yeah. Welcome back to Metroid. <laughs> Just re regular Metroid. Just a really great Metroid. A really great Metroid. Yeah. Uh, Darwin's dummy. Remember a tip jar four months? Thanks, Darwin's dummy. Darwin, I don't think you're a dummy at all. Uncus Finder put S W U U T H. Oh, the I, hate it. I hate it. I love the switch. One of these, like a little. <laughs> one of these is like a fake vagina mouth. The switch. Yeah, one of them is. It's there. There's a visual tell. Well, all three of them fucking ate me. Oh uh, well. Need, uh... Is this the room I'm thinking of? Maybe I'm thinking of a different room. Maybe it is a different one. Because yeah. there is a room that does uh, yeah. have a fake mouth. Oh, I keep falling on the mouth. Get out of here. To pair Mario Sunshine. <laughs> yep. That's how they'll have to re-release it. Mario Sunshine. It's just him committing a bunch of sins. Sunshine? Yeah. It's him in Vegas. Yeah. Do you think Mario would like Vegas? You know what? I I think Mario would like jumping around Vegas. There's like a, I feel like there's a lot of stuff. Sure. They kind of jump on and do cool things yeah. with. Uh, there's some like cool water features. As a plumber, he'd probably appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's what I go with. That's my that's my thought on Mario liking Vegas. Beautiful. Also, Lampy says yes. It was a different room than the one Is that you room? were trying to jump in the mouths in. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump in every mouth. 
You know what? Marty, Marty 2024. I'm going to jump into every mouth. Listen, I'm just here to, to, to train the swamp. That's, that's what I'm doing. By, by hopping in every mouth. <laughs> uh, tsunami Doucher with $10. Uh, it says, those are the best memories of when you had limited options for, of games. Playing it over so many times, you stumble on yeah. secrets out of boredom. Which causes you to go back for even more. Yep. I partially agree, yeah. I feel like there's there's too much nostalgia on it though. Like the like that moment is a great memory, but also there was all of the like uh the unfortunate boredom that required building up to that moment. Sure. And then also Hey, you remember all those games where you did spend a lot of time trying to find secrets in, and then you found out that game has zero secrets? Yeah. Yeah, I I, I feel like I do, like, it's it's easy for me to not, like, forget the bad memories, but, like, uh, The Last Guardian is a game that comes to mind with that, because I, uh, I just replayed The Last Guardian, and that's one of those games that is so... It, it might be the game with the highest highs and lowest lows. Like, there are times oh, yeah. where it is, like, so infuriating and, like, you're just like, why did they make this? Like, this is such a fucking, like, <laughs> mess top to bottom. And then mm -hmm. there's moments where what they're doing, like, really clicks, and you're like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, this is... The, this medium peaked here. And then you get to mm -hmm. another point where you're like, this fucking dog won't do what I want it to do. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like this is insane, uh, <laughs> and the game just keeps oscillating between those two. And it was just, I, it was just on stream. I kept being like, I kept going from like this is complete dog shit design to oh my god, every one of these people is a genius, and everyone else in in video games is a fucking nothing. Oh, these this is the room with one of the mouths. I'm going. I'm dead. I'm not leaving this room until I enter a mouth. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, Lambie with 100 bits says, hey, look, it's the Jesse, it's the skip room. Yep. So that room you were in. That was the room where you? Yeah. Where I use the freeze thing to get across the whole thing that rather than using what you're supposed the to. The grappling hook? That is yeah. uh, some, that is madness. I don't even know what you get in that room. Like x-ray visor or something? I think it was the x-ray visor. Yeah. Which but is, I might be wrong. Which is a, uh, optional. That is not one of the necessary items. It, it not for me i would <laughs> the like the fact that an op that you're like your two options are literally use every weapon on every square just in case oh there's yeah a thing that you need to do yeah. or you get an optional item to tell you what to use sure sure and i guess i mean optional in that like i could get through the game without it because i like know oh, the yeah. random ass spots but yes yeah it's, that's absolutely right yeah but yes, you can absolutely beat it without it. It is an optional item. It would just be uh, a game I wouldn't beat without it. I don't have that kind of patience. No, it's not time for that. Uh, oh, George Lucas saying the Matrix 25th anniversary is coming up. It is. That, that might be where we see young Darren Mooney make his return. <laughs> oh... And are we Matrix fans? Jeez, are you a Matrix fan? I'm a big Matrix fan, yeah. I like yeah. all four of the Matrix. I like the cartoons. <sighs> Fucking let me let me see those folks just fight each other and explore yeah. the identities. It's great. I Yeah, I think Mat I yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one who liked Matrix Four. Hell yeah. Yeah, I thought the four like was it, beautiful. Yeah, it was fun. It was it I I feel like most criticisms I've heard of it. I like, agree with incorrect. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's like yes, like yes, that is definitely worth mentioning. That that's a problem. But also, but, I don't care because like the <laughs> again, like the stuff that works for me works so yeah, so well. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and yeah, the first movie's great. I feel like two and three got moments that are good. Yeah, I feel like two. God, that first forty-five minutes is mostly boring. Yeah, but. The last 45 minutes, because it's mostly one big action scene that's done extremely well. Yeah, I definitely think the first is a, a you know, Stone Cold classic. Oh, yeah. Stone Cold Steve classic. <laughs> I, it's my favorite wrestler. <laughs> I 
Sean Harriman says, I love to. I'm a reload apologist. I feel like it's uh, over time, people have, much like the Star Wars prequels, people have softened on. Um, oh, yeah. Reload. Reload, especially. Yeah. Yeah, they were. I mean, they made money. Yeah. But, like, it, 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 there was a lot of. Too bad they never made a, made a sequel, Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, that was the joke for a very long time. I feel like it's inevitable Which... whenever something comes out and if it's beloved after a certain mm -hmm. amount of time, it'll get sort of like a critical reappraisal where people are down on the movie. And then if mm -hmm. the thing is uh, kind of bemoaned, it'll get a critical reappraisal where people are like, listen, it wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah. And like, and I, I can understand why there's a lot of that, because like it, it, they are very different than the first one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that people wanted more things closer. God, I love this song. Yeah. The tunes. The tunes. Soundtrack's so good. It really is. Also, I'd, I'd gladly get lost on all sorts of scary alien planets if they sounded as cool as this place did. <laughs> that's true reserve tank oh is that more energy yeah it's like the thing that's like the you you can fill it up and then if you die i think it gives you a little boosty i don't know we it's a weird like it didn't need to i always thought that the reserve tanks were a strange thing so i'm like well why don't you just make the health bars two a couple bars longer um but you know what I don't make games. They can do whatever they want. They have a reason, probably. Yeah. Nope, that's not how you do that, I guess. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, sneaky Peters. Oh, no. The corn's going to get you. The corn? The flying corn. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got cobbed. Chomley says it's just her bounty hunter playlist. Yeah, this is just playing inside of her helmet while she's. Oh, singing. that's great. Sometimes she just like listen to podcasts. Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that what you do? You play a like Galaxy Trucker or something? That's what she's got to do between missions. Yeah, you got a long haul, and sometimes she's a bounty hunter. So there'll be times where she like captures a dude, and then just got to bring him back. And like, I don't know, doesn't want to talk to that dude. Probably a scoundrel she captured. She doesn't have time, okay. have time to talk to scoundrels. This, this immediately makes me think of a game that I think would be fun. What's where that? you're like basically a taxi service for people like Samus. So you get like distress calls of like, hey, I am on this planet. I need pickup. And you go and you have to deal with like, oh, this person's infected with an alien thing. How do you help them? Like you're just the cab driver. Interesting. Yeah. But, like, you have to deal with the aftermath of all their yeah, weird adventures. Yeah. Of, like, oh, yeah, so Samus shows up, and she has a uh, brain parasite with her. And you're like, this is in my cab, and I need to get not mind-influenced. <laughs> How do I do that? So it's, like, a thing of, like, working out, like, what mechanics you're supposed to use yeah, to counteract yeah. things that are happening. I like that. Make Thanks. It Get some funding. I can't code. I can't code. I, I can't make it happen. Oh, well, we were Unless... to inform you we cannot make it happen. <laughs> we tried to make it happen and we were unsuccessful. Yeah. Like unless I'm making it in PowerPoint, I can't do it. Oh, sugar. Oh, you need the grapple hook for that yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't even need to come here. This is why we go back. Thanks. Thanks. Rewind. Oh, I went back too far. Or not far enough. Who knows? There's really no way to know. I don't even know where I am now. <laughs> this is what happens when I abuse when I abuse rewind. I'm just like, where am I? Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm supposed to know the map better at this yeah. part, but I've been ignoring it, so. <laughs> That's another mechanic that actually could be really fun, is if you have a rewind mechanic. Like like that built into the game, but oh, like yeah. it does like oh, but it has a cost or like oh, you have to be aware of this thing or like oh yeah, you could totally use it, but like 
this will happen. Yeah. Like integrating that into it. Oh. We rewind. We rewind because that was some bullshit. Even though I knew it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> and then she gets it by doing a somersault. She's clearly gonna hit her neck on the ground, like absolutely eating shit, but still walking away with the energy tank. So. <laughs> yep. Uh, Braid kind of had. Did you ever play Braid? I did not. That's that whole thing was like a little puzzle, puzzle platformer where your whole thing was you could rewind, rewind time, and that's where it got all of its, uh, all of all of its little puzzles from. People saying Katana Zero, Prince of Persia One. Yeah, but there was no like downside to using the rewind in those, mm -hmm. right? Like you just, that was just part of the gameplay the mechanic. Like yeah. the game itself is like, oh, by using rewind, I'm gonna do this. Gotcha. Like every time so you rewind, just... the beast gets one step closer. Right, like something like that, where you you have an active thing. Yeah. Or like, oh, I'm, j I'm just going to switch two rooms in the map every time you rewind. Yeah. You know, it's just like, oh, you son of a gun. Is it worth it? I don't know. Like, just weird, weird stuff. I feel like it could be really fun to screw around with that. Get Kojima on the phone. Kojima and yeah. rewinding into Death Stranding 2. Oh, that I was the weirdest trailer. That was a move I could not get to. No, work. I don't. That's like one of those things where, as much as I play this game, I, I don't even know that too well. We'll see if I can um, futz my way up this wall. A lampy with a hundred bits says so. Every time you rewind, one of the devs breaks into your house and moves one item somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They it goes into your computer and moves one file. Be like, where's my 2022 tax I swear return? I, I had need to get it. I swear I did it. Okay, I'll let these men. I'll let these men just have their little jumps. Oh, okay, and Katana Zero rewind hurts your pride. I think that, what did that do though? Because I played Katana Zero no, and I, think, I don't remember I what it's it, just the a, pride mechanic was. No, I think that's just a goof. Like, you as a human have uh, less pride. I think. Oh well, I didn't have any to begin with. So jokes on, <laughs> jokes on you. Can't go below zero. Can't go below zero. Um, if I were me, where would I be going? Every time you use rewind, uh, Sun Dog gets closer to escaping. What's Sundog? I don't know. I just like that sentence. Oh no, the Sundog! <laughs> that's that's one of those things that I I wish uh, I had. And if someone knows of games that do this, please tell me. Where you just do a thing and it'll tell you something that sounds like nonsense. And like you'll later learn what that means. What it like, means, oh, yeah. You used Rewind. The Sundog is now closer to escape. Oh, the like, Sundog? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> There's a Sundog in this game? Do I want it to escape? Is it good? Is it good boy? <laughs> like, yeah, I love stupid things like that. Oh, it's a Stephen King story. Oh. Stephen King seems like a dude who would love a sun dog. So, like, what if there was a dog, but it tried to kill you? Yeah, what if there was a dog, but it was in the sun? <laughs> Marty, I want you to know that your jokes have have long lasting appeal, because I still think about you saying, uh, "What if it's a hotel? They're trying to kill you. What if it's a car? They're trying to kill you." What are you talking about, Stephen King plot lines? <laughs> I to love Stephen King, day. but that's what every single one of them is. To this day, I hear you saying yeah. that, and it makes me chuckle. Yeah, his editor's like, "Hey, Stevie, you got any more ideas for us?" And Stevie's like, "Cocaine is expensive." I have several ideas for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tsunami Dusher says, quote, Cthulhu will remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff. Where is the... I feel like I need the Super Metro. I need the uh, grapple hook. You got you just, everything's good. If you were a grappling hook, 
Where would you be? Uh, somewhere incredibly inconvenient, <laughs> from what I remember. I think oh, it was one of the last upgrades oh, I got. Oh, this little room. I remember this room. I gotta go back to Firefucker's domain. Oh no. Um, better watch out. Better watch out. You better not cry. <laughs> uh, Lampy spending two hundred whole bits to say blow the tube. I can't. Blow the, the blowing the tube is. Uh, this all sounds incredibly weird. Uh, blowing the tube before you have uh, the purple suit, um, or the, the suit that allows you to um, to move freely underwater, is a fool's errand. I got it. I know where I'm going. Uh, Hunter Rogue. Uh, says grappling hook is a separate path from ice beam. Yeah, I remember. It's the, room, it's the room with the bars that go down, and you got to use your... Sure, I believe you. You know, there's bars and there's things. Now I just have to remember. And they go the, down. I just have to remember where the bar room is. And the bar. I think the bar room is. The bar room. It's it's where you get the drinks. The bar room is where it gets the drinks. I think it's where that S is in the bottom left hand corner. And also, that's from uh, Hunter Uru being a member for three months. So thanks. Oh my God, three whole months in this economy. <laughs> Uh, and Garg says, judging by how Marty has been playing, I'd say he knows the Shine Spark. That's I thing, did. I Shine right? Spark. That was. Um, well, is that the jump thing? Is that the jump thing I did earlier? I don't know. You like when you start doing when you start getting all uh, flashy with your jumps, or when you're running so fast that you flash out and then you can uh, kind of stop and do like a big old jump into the air. Is that what it's called? I don't know. That's Shine Spark. I don't know. If Shine Spark is Shine Spark, could also be the thing that was in the uh, opening menu that both of us were like, "What the fuck is that thing?" <laughs> 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 that thing has a name. I promise you, we don't know what that is because that was very strange. Uh, but Jesse, or uh, sorry, Lampy, I promise you, by the end of the stream, I will blow the tube. I will do the Lampy Memorial tube blowing before we end the stream. Wow. Yeah. We jumped in the mouth. Now we're gonna blow a tube. Yeah. What a what a Tuesday, tubes day, <laughs> tubes day, if you will. It's tubes day indeed. Uh, George Lucas asked if I liked Sea of Thieves, and did I try Skull and Bones? I have sometimes Sea of Thieves is fun to play with friends because you could just talk to them and do silly things. That's always nice. But I find most of that gameplay being pretty boring, so I haven't played it super long. Because most of it's just excuse to socialize with people. But then I, after about an hour, I'm like, I wish we were socializing with a better game. There you go. Um, and I have not played Skull and Bones and have not heard anything very good about it. So I probably will not. Maybe I didn't realize we were just going to go right through the tube. So I gave you a nice tubing. <laughs> I gave you, I thought we were going to save it for the end of the stream, but. It's tube time now. Yeah, it's tube time. Hope you were paying attention because there it was. Tim the Tube Man Taylor. Uh, and Keeper Day says, yes, indeed, Shine Spark, Marty. They're running and flashing. Great. Just running and flashing. Lampy, you were tabbed out? Oh, no. You should have been tubed out. Oh. You, to, you missed your chance. <laughs> Look at this. Now I'm, now I'm fucking underwater Samus doesn't know what is going on. Oh, my God. Underwater Samus, I just need you to, <laughs> I need you to get up here. You are unruly. Great music, though. Come back and check the VOD for that unforgettable tube moment. I think if you're on YouTube, you could just... I mean, because YouTube is tubes, you can right. rewind to the tubes. On Twitch, you that's cannot Actually, rewind. that's why YouTube lets you rewind live streams. It's, it's because, because of the of tube in Super Metroid. It was <laughs> Because of the tube in Super Metroid, yeah. Yeah, check that's why out. it's called YouTube. Check out. Uh, because you tube it. Uh, you also actually could have rewound the game and then blown it up again for Lampy. But I feel like that's uh, encouraging bad behavior. That's encouraging. I uh, expect all of our viewers, um, regardless of your time zone or what is going on in your life, to be paying full attention. It's phones down. It's tell your loved ones to get the fuck out mm -hmm. while you are watching our streams. 
Uh, and it, I don't know. It's like if you're watching uh, the movie Zone of Interest came out, real, real uh, emotional movie, and you should be paying as much attention to us as you paid attention to the Zone of Interest. Never even heard of that. One best, uh, best foreign film at the Oscars, oh. and it won best sound design. Ooh, I love sound design. Oh man, this is some harrowing sound design. <laughs> I, just, I gotta look up a zone of interest. It's now. Uh, it's very it's a very uh, heart wrenching movie about a, a, a Nazi uh, general Nazi general who mans Auschwitz and him and his family live at a concentration camp. They like live at a, like a nice house right next to Auschwitz, and mm -hmm. so you never see the inside of Auschwitz, but you kind of just hear the din of it, and it is nightmarish. Oh gosh, that yeah. sounds terrifying. Whoa! But yes, you should be paying as much attention to that as uh, as you, or you should be paying as much attention to our streams as you do that. Yeah, very important. All right, well, we're going. Let's see what's going this way. Uh, <laughs> Lambie with the hundred bit says, "I uh, I was taking a phone call during Zone of Interest." See, this is why we can't have nice things, Lampy. That's why we can't have seahorses, Lampy. For what I hear about the sound design, I really hope you weren't listening to that movie out loud while you were on the phone. Like yeah, you yeah, it'd be, uh, yeah. You're, you're, so wherever you're on the your call, coworkers are just like, horrible we things. need to not, <laughs> we need to not call him again. I, I don't know where he is. That was fucking terrifying. <laughs> hey, little loops. Fucking Miyazaki. Miyazaki plays one Super Metroid and then all of a sudden starts putting loops in all of his games. <laughs> Sorry, your 10 year old screaming, or your 10 week old, not your 10 year old, <laughs> is screaming in your ear. Shro Cat. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a 10 year old newborn, and I was like, hmm. I have some questions. Yeah. <laughs> You have a ten-year-old newborn. That's, I have that's some in the scan for you. Questions. <laughs> Miyazaki would never put rewind in his game. Got to live with the consequences. That's that's vintage Miyazaki right there. Yeah, uh, the only rewind is death. Life's true rewind. I feel like if these Aww. dudes, uh, if their weakness is their mouth, they should stop yeah. opening their mouth. They should right? let them breathe through their nose. Or just be like, cover their mouth. Yeah. Because their hand's invulnerable, so they should be like, oh. Yeah. Safe. And then Samus would just be like, fuck. I don't even know yeah. what to do. I can't get to their mouth. Jesus. I'm out of options. This guy's, this guy's an absolute cretin. And that doesn't even, like, hurt him. It just knocks him back. Like, yeah. you can't kill him by shooting him in the mouth. He, and he doesn't even know he's fucking... He is very close to Acid City. A place none of us like being. I like when his little skeleton, uh, his skeleton uh, appears soon. Oh, yes. Comes out of the lava. Neat little... Neat little spoilers. Piece. Spoilers for... HBD spoilers. Well, it's, it's not that... For him, it's not very H. No, it is, a, it is a sad BD. SBD. Yes, SBD. Oh, oh. Oh, and he melts away. Has he still, like, he melted away, but he's still got enough meat to make noise. And he's still got enough juice in his bones to jump out one more time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ran right into those spikes. Enough juice in his bones. Yeah, he's got a lot of bone juice. Did you not notice the bone juice? That's marrow. What is uh -oh. bone juice if not marrow? And he fucking Kool-Aid man through this wall, gives me one last waka waka, and passes away. This is how I want to die, busting through a spike wall and then just fucking keeling over. <laughs> As a skeleton? Yeah. That's pretty good. And then bequeathing all of my goodies to whoever murdered me. I mean, why wouldn't you? That's just petty if you don't. Yeah, I don't know, that's just kind bequeathing. Yeah. Uh, hey, Snake of the Garden. Actually, uh, it says, how's unpacking going? Do you still have stuff to do? It took us like two or three years. 
Yeah, actually, I think we have one box in the closet, and that's the only thing left that from the move. Oh, so you've done you've done some a healthy amount of unpacking. Yeah, because we've been here a little over a year, so that's good. Yeah. You know, we finally got a new thing to put all of the freaking stuffed animals we have in. Good. Like what, what we kind have, of a thing? Like a shelf? Like a uh, chamber? We got it's sort of like a like a linen basket. Okay. And it's like a whole bunch of them in there. I really like those hammocks that you hang up and then you have them. Like oh on yeah, display. yeah. But yeah, she wanted one of the like baskets to put them in and be like, Boop. and so we have them in there. That's cool. We have a lot. And I say we because it's fair. It's they're not all hers. Like I have a dinosaur in a tuxedo. Which is actually a dog toy, but we found it when we were somewhere, and I was like, "I." But humans can also like it. Yeah, it's a dog like, toy it's that a humans can also enjoy. Tuxedo. I just this is cool. Like, sure, it squeaks when I squeeze it, but <laughs> it's a dinosaur in a tuxedo. And we have like a little like chibi Cthulhu and stuff. Ah. So, yeah, just it's it's not all hers. Bottom says I have a plush storage crisis of, of my own now. A plush storage <laughs> crisis. Oh no. I'm sorry, it's a crisis. Yeah, that sounds intense. I mean, I'm getting I'm getting dangerously close to an amiibo storage crisis. How many amiibo do you Fuck have? A lot. <laughs> um. I think the fact that you can look over and start counting might be a good sign. I think it might be 55. Around 55. I kind of I feel like that I kind of stopped counting when they found it a corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel I feel like you're you're not in the danger zone yet. Okay. That's good. And again, I'm only buying I'm only buying folks I, I enjoy the video games of. And the problem is yeah. I just enjoy a lot of their video games. So so what's one that you haven't bought that you've been like, oh no, I'm not gonna. I haven't buy. bought any of the Splatoon kids. I like Splatoon, but like I don't have anything. Um, I don't have I don't have any like love for those for those Splat kids. Uh, none of the Xenoblade characters, and honestly, that might be it, which is worrisome because if I see anyone else, I'm like, yeah, I fucking love King DDD. I love that big penguin who's got like a weird hammer and fucks with Kirby. <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I love Wii Fit Trader, and I'm like, I don't even like that game. I'm like, yes, but she's cool. She's cool. But you like her in Smash. I like her so, in Smash, damn. and I like that she does a lot of stretching. I appreciate anyone stretching. who stretches. Stretch is incredibly important. Yeah, very, very important. So what is that grapple beam supposed to be? Is it a magnet? Yeah, it seems like that. Or like I think like in art it's almost like throwing out like an electricity whip. Okay. So yeah. Fuck out of here! Oh, I'm shooting the wrong thing. Oh my God, these men, the wall men, the wall men. Oh right, you can grapple up there. Yeah. It's like, how do you get up there? Uh, Deeves confirms it's an energy whip. There you go. I don't know how that works. I don't know how any of this shit works, but I like it. Like, how how does energy? attached to something and then hold you sturdy and then really i can get the i can get the like contract and release that actually makes a lot more sense than like a physical whip sure or like a batarang which wraps around stuff how do, and how, then somehow how do photographs unwraps? work i was thinking about huh? that it's the same thing like how photographs work i don't know how it works you just gotta trust i gotta trust the system trust the smarties who are working on them Like, I, I don't understand how video games are made. People just put in a bunch of fucking math, and all of a sudden there's, like, dudes running around the screen. Yeah, and that's wild. Bitch, Samus, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, you and me together, Samus, we can do this. First off, you gotta learn how to just, when you're in a puddle, you are absolutely effed. <laughs> we gotta get you some puddle boots. <laughs> puddle boots, Samus. Yeah. And <laughs> Sergio so Duke says, can't have a HBDDSM. <laughs> Without energy whips. <laughs> yep. It's true. You, you said it. We didn't say it. All right. 
right now. We can get to the spooky ship. Everybody loves their spooky ship. Why is that thing a bug, but it has a rocket butt? Maybe it's a uh, mother brain doing all sorts of fucked up experiments. Mm. Oh, more power bombs. Uh, Snake of the Garden asks, is the stream skipping for anyone? I don't No, you're the only person I've seen. Uh, my, all my my internet numbers look fine. Could be a you thing. Could be a me thing. Listen, my, my internet is usually a villain. So, uh, uh, I'm, get, I'm getting some look finds for me from chat. Marty might be quiet though. Oh, it's re really weird. I mean, we're so far into the stream. Yeah, you could have. <laughs> what happened? That. You gave us money, Andrew. You could have been like, and also maybe Marty should get turned up a little more. Yeah, I think I got scared of everything when everyone so, during the great peaking of 2024. <laughs> When everyone was like, Jesse's peaking, we are taking all of our money out of out of uh, Second Wind. Yeah, that happened. We are financially ruined for yeah. minutes. It might also be a relaxed voice. That is true. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just mumbling. Might be mumbling. You're just having a good time. You're just like, mm. yeah, just having yeah. just real. Just you listen. This is like uh, NPR version of, of experiencing the classics, experiencing the hits. Oh, man. Okay, so I was listening to NPR because that's what kind of person I am. <laughs> and the, when Tears of the Kingdom came out, they had, like, the video game reviewer. Like, NPR barely has yeah. a, like, video game person. And he was talking with, like, three other people. And it was really fun to hear people talk about video games on NPR. And like, and like one of the the like hosts of the show did not know anything about video games. Sure, sure. And this guy was clearly a massive Zelda fan. Ah, uh, that's great. And was like doing a really good job explaining stuff. Yeah. It's like it was stuff I also didn't know. I was like, oh wow, that's cool. And like it was pretty fascinating. And just like held with the same kind of like passion and uh like kind of gravitas sort of mm -hmm. that like they do for like reporting or like talking yeah about, yeah like, this academy award nominee movie sure, that's sure. a big heady thing it's We're not like in the 90s it. where it was like the big f the, the the big fad for kids this christmas are video games so we're gonna have right. someone talk about the nintendo yeah <laughs> the nintendo yeah. Yeah, it was just like really cool to kind of hear it in that context. Oh, Jesus, I shouldn't have blown this up. Lampy made such a huge mistake. <laughs> and then he didn't even see it. I blew this up and then he didn't even see it. Oh, I keep I keep landing in this man's mouth. <laughs> uh with one ninety nine. It's funny every time someone Pop. does the shout thing, I just immediately hear uh the, the, the microphone like uh cuts out. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it cuts out on, on everyone else's end, but just on my end, anytime I hear ah, it's like ah, it's just like silence. It's like, oh the name's <laughs> the, the name is being uh, uh bleeped for anonymity's sake. Wait, I gotta know, does that does that come through in chat? Do you hear me go ah and make noise or is that <laughs> or does out? it or are the microphones like we can't do this yeah do i need to be like ah with a <laughs> 199 donation that's, do that's I need to the, do that that's the npr shit right there that yeah. is absolutely the npr shit <laughs> it starts that it cuts out a bit okay so i can't go like and do like a surprise one yeah yeah i don't know if that and was uh, like i said i don't know if it was uh on both ends or just on on my end, but sorry. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> what, uh, what is what does I have to say? Ah, uh, has oh yeah, this is the section I skipped right here. Oh yeah, you want so you, you want to try do this just using the freeze ray? Oh fuck, I killed that man. <laughs> that sounds no, <laughs> that sounds terrible. 
<laughs> Whoa, it was God. very tough. And then you got to here, and it was like, finally, something that's going to complete this game for me. <laughs> I mean, it was worth it. I really yeah. liked the the X-ray. X-ray specs? Yeah. It's weird that it's just like uh, a little pyramid. Sorry. I'm sure Quintuple's got a very good message that we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be able to hear at some point in our lives. Well, at some point, yeah. Not today, though. Yeah. Maybe the next stream we'll get to it. Uh, and ah, that should have come through. Uh, with a dollar ninety nine, says Jesse, you picking up Majora's Mask again? I would very much like to. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that's exactly in the cards, but I think it would be fun. Yeah, now that all the nice. now that all the trips are done, we'll f we'll figure out what what we need like a Jesse Helm to stream. We gotta figure out. Yeah, what's we gonna be. Could do a little, a little Majora's masking. I feel like Majora's Mask would literally take f several years at the, might. at the pace at the pace we were going though. So I feel like Majora's Mask is just not a great first stream game. Yeah, um, maybe start with. It would would Super Mario sixty four be a good? Because that's that's another retro game I've never played. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think that could be fun. Yeah, we'll see if there's any new games. Have you been playing any new games? Have you played any games this year? Nope, I haven't played a single game. I haven't touched any games. Get wrecked, vitties. Uh, <laughs> I have. I forget what they all are, but I swear I've played games. Did you play... Other than Dead by Daylight, I've played games. Did you play Bellatro? I actually did play some Bellatro while uh, people were here. Because everybody was playing that doggone game. Oh, people had Bellatro um, fever. Yeah, and I played it, and it is really cool. And I, I don't, I'm not gonna continue playing it, cause like it's really neat. I understand why people love it, and that's cool. But it's just not for, it's, it does not hook me the same way. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't touched it yet. Uh, <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna wait. They, they announced it's coming to phones, and I'm like, I'll just get it on my phone. Just I really could ruined my absolutely life. Absolutely, see that working on the phone. Like. 100%. I feel like that's probably the, its its preferred platform. Uh, also, Fungus Finder with $2 with the, um, an amazing message. It says, y'all need a car talk-like show with video game questions. I don't know what car yes. talk is. What's car talk? You don't know car talk? Oh my god, I don't know car talk. Oh, it was a, it was a show on NPR. Um, and it was... Uh, these two i think they were from boston it was two mechanics like they owned like a mechanic shop they had been like you know lifelong car mechanics sure and they just did a show on npr of like hey if you have car questions just call we'll answer them uh but they're like super jovial very jokey like always ribbing on each other like uh you know brothers like and that. yeah it it's uh, honestly it's a delight like just listening to them and they would make dumb jokes and like it's just, I feel it's, like that's every one of our streams isn't it like people yeah. people ask literally whatever like very few of our streams are about the video game <laughs> so we this one would actually have to be about the video game so people would like call in and ask a question okay so they would ask like, oh, okay it wouldn't noise. just be like let's ask some goof questions they'd be like no like people would call and be like my car is making this noise yeah and they'd be like okay it could be this have you tried this sure, sure, sure when does it do and like legitimately really helpful questions and answers um and then uh would also have very that also just make silly jokes and sometimes they would get kind of silly questions like someone would ask um i think I've, i said this on our stream when we were talking about car talk but i think it was with casey where it was like, if you are in a car and you smell something, is it better to roll the windows up or down to get rid of the smell? And like, they had a long debate on like what you're supposed to do. So basically, if the windows are down and you smell it, it's, it's too late. Outside. Just leave them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Right. But if it's if you smell it and the windows are up, and roll the windows down. I think it was the basic rundown of it. Okay, I'm gonna find that. Yeah, it was. It's a very pleasant show. Yeah, it's just people being very nice and funny Sounds and wonderful. actually answering questions. So yeah, I'd be pro of that. I think that would be super fun. We have pleasant people here. 
<laughs> Top 10 pleasant people. The second one. Yeah. Uh, and Humane Shield with $1.99 says, Happy 25th birthday to Farscape, the sci-fi series. Oh, I never watched Farscape. I've seen a couple episodes and made me want to watch more. There you go. HBD and also Farscape. the friend... Huh? I said, there you go. HBD Farscape. Yeah, HBD Farscape. Also, the friend that told me about it and got me to watch some episodes was like, hey, by the way, the first like, the first half of the first season, kind of not worth watching. It's not very good. It's not oh. nearly as good as the rest of the stuff. So good. like, let's let's start off a little later. I'm going to get you some like briefed in episodes. Because I had watched like the first half of the first season and was like, this show's OK. I don't get it. Why everybody's so obsessed with yeah. it, though. And then seeing some later stuff being like, oh, I think I get it. So it does take some time to step into itself. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, a lot of shows have that bits. sort of. Oh, good. Yeah, that's uh, there's a lot of shows like that that are kind of. Um, if I recommend them, it's always with the caveat that like, oh, they eventually get good. I promise. Mm -hmm. I'm getting fucked up by this guy. Why does he keep doing this? Oh thing? no, this is a hard boss. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I died to him a couple times when I was uh, streaming the game. I remember that. Just All like, right, so Lampy with those 200 oh bits. Yes, Lampy. Uh, it says, we left Jesse with like one minute left on the first day before the moon crashes. We have to go back. <laughs> uh, have I finished Resident Evil 4 remake? No, I have not. I Last time I played that was on the stream. It was a good-ass game. It was really fun, though. Yeah, because I've beaten the original. And I was really enjoying the remake. It was pretty cool. I felt guilty playing it on my own. Why? It's like, oh no, I, I have to play it on stream. <laughs> oh, Jeremy Gola with $5 says seed money for the second win version of Stump the Chumps. What the fuck is Stump the Chumps? That was the thing they would do on, yeah, that was the thing they do on NPR. They would ask a question. To see if they like couldn't get the answer. Oh, gotcha. Or like there'd be a riddle, something. I forget. Them stumps getting chumped. NPR was a great show. That's like peak public radio. Where it was like, <laughs> here's a thing that's like done by like non-professional like entertainers that is entertaining. Yeah. And is also actually helpful. Oh, this guy's messing you up. Yeah, I've already rewound. It's like his... I remember when I was playing, it was like trying to get him to... Getting him to become... A corporeal? Is that the word? Like, getting him to become a person? Or, like, physical? Because he's in his incorporeal form right now. It's always a real pain in the ass. Yeah. Any boss with an incorporeal form. Yeah. Such a pain. <laughs> table talk talk? Yeah. Table, table talk, talk talk. Is this the boss from Echo the Dolphin's son? Yes, it is. God, that boss was wild. Uh... Hunter Rurug says, don't use super missiles. It will be easier. And they gave $2 to say that. Well, if Hunter said that, and Hunter said this is his favorite game. Wait, what, <clears> should, <throat> what should he use? Just regular missiles, I guess. I was like, I think one of the problems is I was missing certain windows because I was trying to swap between uh, oh. regular missiles and super windows. It's mostly the thing of there's no rhyme or reason to when he goes from being corporeal to non-corporeal. He just kind of like mm. will random. Sometimes it'll be like, oh, he's being like a real pain in the dick for, for a full minute and not showing his face. Now other times he'll be like, here, it's me. Welcome everyone. It's me, the Phantom Man. Did you do that uh, bomb shield thing? What bomb shield thing? Remember the thing we saw at the beginning, and Lampy called it a bomb shield, and oh. maybe it would protect you in like those wild spots. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to though. Like, I don't even know how. Well, he's dead now. 
Olympia gave us the long thing, and I'm gonna be honest, it was very confusing. It was several words. Can't handle all those words. Uh, Humane Shield with four ninety nine. Thanks, Humane Shield. Says click and clack. Stump the chump. Uh, was a riddle with a reward being a gift card for merch from their website. Uh, Jesse brings stump the chunk. Chump. Stump the chunk. Stump, stump the, the chunk. chump. Delicious. <laughs> stump the chump to second wind. I will try. I love stump the chump. Oh, yeah. So their nicknames were, they would say that, you know, we're click and clack the Tapper brothers. Gotcha. But they but they never referenced. I don't think they ever said who was click and who was clack. That was just oh, a joke. Oh, wow. Also, listen to them. They are headcanon what Mario and Luigi sound like to me. <laughs> That's funny. They don't sound like Chris Pratt and Charlie Day? Uh, no. Not at all. Very, very different. Uh, Lampy with 100 bits says 10 minutes left. Tweak? Oh, yeah. I'll get to you're a, gonna, I'll get to a gonna... save point. Then we'll oh, I don't have to get to a save point. There's no. There's you don't. Fucking... You just. Also, I'm not gonna continue this playthrough. So, uh, we'll end on a super missile. Look, we got a super missile. <laughs> Can't believe we did. And we beat a boss. And so we beat like, a boss. So, dang. Uh, technically, that all that all works out. Bye, Tormuz. Thanks for coming. Oh, someone did. Someone leave. Bye. Um. Tormuz is going. They gotta go. Oh, also, I saved this because when I beat the game on stream, I got yeah. 69%. Nice. <laughs> I was very excited. Uh, okay. Now we do our annual Suica. I don't know annual. That's not the word I wanted. We do our regular Suica. Regular Suica? End of stream Suica. Did, uh, did Casey like that Mega Man game last night? Oh yeah, he loved it. He he basically was like, "I just want to play this next time. It's my turn." There's even a there's even a there's an Azure Strikers uh, three. Yeah, there is. I guess he's catching up. He's got to play more faster. Such a weird game. What Sweek? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And also, every time you say its name, I'm like, you gotta say the whole name of the game, because I think it's Suikoden, but oh. that's a completely different game. <laughs> you are, you're like, you gotta just keep, you gotta keep talking so I know if you're talking about this one or the other one. <laughs> oh, this music's so pleasant. It really is. Uh, Mindless Fool 360 says play Gal Gun, which is also from a rail shooter, as we learned, from the same devs. As this? Uh, no, as uh, uh, Gun Gun Tech. What was the game? Azure, last night? Azure Gun Vault? Yeah, Azure Blue Gun Vault 2, Azure or whatever Bujan. it was. Um, interesting. I feel like I've heard of the name uh, Gun, Gun Gal before couple of gals running around town with guns yep that's their thing that's, that's what they do and I respect it is there a logic for what fruit turns into which fruit yeah like, the why do two strawberries become an orange oh like is there no like there's the game logic is the circle of evolution on the right it is uh no right. there's not a, like a logic of like lore wise why it happens just the hierarchy of fruits. Dang, I need that Suica lore. I would, if they would hire me, I would gladly write Suica lore. It'd be really weird to announce I'm leaving Second Wind because I'm now the Suica game ombudsman creating hot, hot Suica lore. Wait, why didn't you drop that orange on that other orange? Uh, because I was, it's, it's, when I have two near each other, I'm like, maybe I can fuck up stuff and they'll pop together. And that's what oh, happened. And I was like, if I yeah. if I cause a little ruckus, I can get them to wow. pop together. Yeah, there's a little. That I said it to really well. I said that uh, I feel like I haven't gotten any better at Suica, and that's not necessarily true. I feel like I there's like sometimes I plan strats. Um, mm -hmm. It's just a lot of times those strats don't work. So at the very mm -hmm. least, I'm cognizant of strats. 
hot, hot Suica strats. Okay, so how are you gonna get those pink ones to connect? Uh, oh my god! I'm wild. probably not going to. I'm probably going to work on getting uh, the red one to turn into a yellow one and then combine with the yellow one that can then combine with the pink one and mm -hmm. then this this pink one this pink one's just gonna die alone <laughs> that's what happens to some of us some of us never Dang. find a partner the pink one's just gonna die alone uh no i think old pinky will be fine i'm not too worried about old pinky music stopped it's gonna I'm loop. not even looking at chat. It's going to do a sweet loop. Back. It's not even looking at chat. There's just a mutiny in chat. Everything's yeah. on fire. We're like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but I got to watch these fruits combine. <laughs> this is very important. Oh no. Oh, that I got too greedy. Greedy grape. Oh no. All right. We got some pop Ooh, there. A couple dang. poppies in a row. Couple poppies. So why didn't you drop that grape on the other side of that apple to try to push it to the other apple? Uh, I feel like it wouldn't work and it would end up just getting kind of wedged into this corner. Oh, like okay. this thing, I don't think it'll, it won't roll it, but it'll get wedged there. Oh, oh no, okay. it might roll it. But oh. now I don't want it to roll it, actually. So in oh, showing no. you the example, I did it too late. <laughs> I did it too late. Everything went wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No one's crying. Um. Everything's fine and no one's crying. It's like a clear sign that everything is not fine. If no one's crying? And and someone is crying. No oh, yeah, yeah. Crying, and no one's crying. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Who needs ADHD meds when you have sweet cake? Exactly. Uh, Snake in the Garden with our two euros says, Only Marty could mention dying alone during Suica. I feel like that's what, when they when I become the Suica Lorsman, that's what... Um, that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna inject some pathos into this. I'm gonna draw this into the uh, to the spirit fairy universe. Wow. You can get a little cherry down so there. What if yeah. if you got the reins to make the Suica lore, what's the first bit of lore you'd write? Uh the the creation of the soul. Like what happened like this is to me it may it might just be because I just finished watching uh, doing a rewatch of Neon Genesis Evangelion and seeing End of Evangelion in theaters, but I feel like this is like the human instrumentality project, and what we're what we're doing is taking all of our disparate souls and bringing them back together into one singular LCL goo. Have you ever seen Ava, or was all that just genuine nonsense? <laughs> I've I've seen most of Evangelion. Okay. But it's still nonsense because it's still nonsense to me, and I just watched it, and the words came out of my mouth, and it, they felt like nonsense well, I, to me. I also didn't watch literally every episode, and I've seen it like in weird pieces, as you used to do before sure, we binged yeah. everything. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's some things that like I'm missing on, but like I did really like what I saw. Yeah, it's a it's an all timer. Man, I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting roasted. I'm getting sweet roasted right now. Well. Am oh, I? Oh, or am oh, I? Oh, oh, I don't. I don't like what's going. On. This left hand side, though, is tumultuous. Oh, yeah, you're about to lose it. Real here. tumultuous. Uh, Andrew Hickabottom with five pounds. It says, "Hey, I thought Avatar: The Way of Water was Marty's deathbed entertainment." What? What did I say? Something else was. I don't know. I did say that I'm saving Avatar the way of water, and it'll be the thing I watch when I die. <laughs> oh, yeah. what if it's disappointing? Uh, well, then I'll just I'll just be like, well, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> it's better than if it was like good. I'd be like, I don't want to leave. I need to see what the rest of them are like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucked that up. Can I get this cherry down there? Ooh. Oh, oh, it might. Nope. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, no. Ruined, ruined everything. So we could deny it. Oh, but. Oh, oh. Oh, by the, oh, they oh the death. Death came for us. The Suica pop. It popped oh, the left no. hand side. Suica giveth. Suica taketh. 
uh, hey, my third best score of the month. Also, oh, wow. the third time I've played the game this month, <laughs> which means wow. my worst score of the month. <laughs> but it's fine. But it's fine. That was a wonderful uh, little squeak. And Lampy with 200 bits before we go, saying, uh, have you gone back to Gurren Lagan yet, Marty? Casey and Jesse need to be able to talk to you about it without spoilers. I have not, no. Um, I, I watched one episode of Gurren Lagan, and then I did my whole Ava thing. And that just became my personality for like a week and a half. Yeah. Um, but now that it's done, I might go back. I do still need to watch, watch the four Ava movies. Though. One episode? Of Gurren Like Lagan. literally one episode? I watched one episode, and then the next day I saw that End of Evangelion was being played in theaters on one day, and one oh. day or like two days alone. And I was like, ooh, I've never seen it in theaters. And I got tickets to it, and I was like, ooh, I should probably wa- rewatch Ava. And I only had like a week to do it. And so I was like, well, oh, okay. I can only do one big robot thing at a time. That's fair. Yeah. You can't you can't just, mix your I've... mix your robos. I just never heard anyone stop like I've heard people stop it because they didn't like it, but one episode of yeah. like, never <laughs> it's real I've never heard just of real this. quitter spirit coming over here. <laughs> yeah. Um well that was uh that was our HBD celebration of Super Metroid, which again was released in Japan this very day, thirty years ago in nineteen ninety four. Wow. HBD wow. Samus and all of your creepy crawly pals. Um, that is our final uh, second wind stream for today. That made it sound like I was going to say ever, but that just there's no more Tuesdays. Yeah, we're packing it up. There's no more Tuesdays. I got wind streams. Uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow uh, at noon. Frost and I will be playing uh, a sponsored game that I'm very excited for called My Familiar. That is a, a throwback, um, sort of like a, a throwback Super Nintendo RPG was set in an afterlife with a bunch of critters and let me tell you i played the demo i'm very excited for this one uh oh, so i'll be at yeah, noon. I played the demo of that too yeah it's neat um yeah and then uh at 6 p.m uh, central will be back with fireland jesse will be uh sitting in for <sighs> nick this week so jesse will be joining casey and i uh to spoof and goof about whatever and then I don't know what streams we're just starting Devil May Cry on Thursday. Uh, on Friday, Jack's going to be streaming some Dark Souls probably or Elden Ring or some, something. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just sometimes we, we just don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, and then um, you can uh, follow me on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv uh, slash McBiggity, and I'll be streaming later tonight in about three and a half hours or so. I don't know what yet. Whoa. Might be a game. Maybe it'll just maybe we'll just watch Street Fighter the movie and see if we get arrested. Who knows? <laughs> sometimes sometimes I like getting getting flying real close to the sun. Uh what do you what about you, Jesse? Uh Rexicon Jesse on all the things. Twitch, Twitter, Blue Sky, YouTube, and Twitch. Um and then Firelink, I'll be here. And also, we mentioned at the beginning, but check out the Red Dragon Inn Adventure is Nigh expansion. Yeah, absolutely. Crushing on Kickstarter, which is very exciting. Um, it was then, like 91 when I looked. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close to those six figures. Yeah, yeah. we're at 95,000 on it. And then, uh, oh, and, that's huge. Uh, I believe Thursday on Slugfest, uh, that's the game company that makes Red Dragon mm-hmm. Inn. Uh, I'm actually going to be streaming with them playing this. Oh, they're over, rules. Uh, tabletop simulator oh that's great so if you want to check that out you should come check that out heck i'm yeah. really excited i get to play with the actual like game people that's yeah, so cool that'll be great heck yeah um cool yeah and then check out uh the over the week on the adventures night video of of uh, jesse's bequeathments <laughs> the, the the gift the gift of source um that was really nice so um Check that out while um, while while more adventures and I things coming in your future, including the remasters of seasons one and two, and of course uh, season four. Yeah, very yeah. exciting. Heck yeah. Uh, so yeah, so for Jesse, this was Marty. Thank you all uh, so much. Thanks to everyone who uh, hung out in Twitch, uh, everyone who hung out in YouTube, and to uh, everyone in uh, everyone watching on the vods. Really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, we hope you have a wonderful rest of uh, your day, and we'll see you uh, late tomorrow for uh, our our streams then. So. Bye, everyone. Bye, all. Bye. Bye.